Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and another boxing equipment review. Today we got another headgear we're reviewing. Before I did the rival nose guard uh, headgear, today we're doing open face with cheeks. We're doing the title classic USA boxing competition headgear. So this is okay certified to use for competition, for amateur boxing. This is a popular headgear. I see a lot of amateurs use this and because, well, it's a good thing, all right? There's a reason why they use it. It's a very good headgear. $80 off title. Apparently it's on sale. It's saying it's usually a hundred bucks, but right now it's going for 80. It's a size large. What I really like about this is it's so light, right? And you need that compared to headgear that has the nose guard. Usually they're, they're going to be heavier. Makes sense. Okay. This one's open face. So it's going to be lighter, which is very good. You don't want to have the habit of always using heavy headgear. It could be a lot of stress on the neck and also could affect movement. Um, I don't wear this all the time. I like to wear my nose guard majority of the time, but you know, if you're preparing for a fight, right? This is smart because you're going to be using this in an actual fight. There's two types of headgear, right? Basically completely open face or with cheeks. I got with cheeks because why not, right? Extra protection. Um, going over the details of this headgear. It's a four layer foam laminated padding has high and low intensity layers for increased shock absorption and import resistance has integrated side ear air channels offers extra protection and coverage without bulky add-ups. And that's correct. None of this is really bulky. It's extremely light and that's great. Fully adjustable lacing system on top, okay, and on the back, okay, adjustable chin strap, which kind of, okay, I had a problem with, uh, I'll show you when I'm actually trying the headgear on, but I don't know, I wasn't the happiest with the headgear, but uh, you have to get used to it, basically. Um, an innovative, softer, comfortable, and quality uh, cloth and side liner, okay, moisture wicking, which is true, right? Uh, let me just say I'm very happy with this, very light, but uh, let's try it on. All right, so we're trying this on now, not hard really to put on. Um, as you see with the laces in the back, you could untie them every time. I found it good to just keep them tied. Uh, this this you might have to mess with, the up top laces, but the ones on the back, I like to just keep them tied. So you just slip it over, okay? And it's not like a football helmet, right? It's not meant to prevent concussions. It's meant to prevent cuts, Alrighty. So it's on pretty snug now. Now, here's a problem with, of course, the buckle. If you can see, it's uh, the leather is pretty bad with this. It just seems very, very cheap. There we go. We got it in. So it wasn't bad there, but usually it's a problem. Now, as you see though, okay, it's about, you want it above your eyebrows. You don't want it on your eyebrows. You want it above your eyebrows and you have it protecting your cheeks. Alrighty, I can see, okay. I can see straight ahead. My peripheral vision's not the best, right? But you know, you want your opponent to be in front of you. You don't want your opponent to be the side of you. Um, I can talk fine. I can move around fine. Can't really slide much. So that's really all there is to it. I'm gonna have the link in the description. Title website is what I got it from. It's uh, you can see a little forehead's a little red. It's a little tight there. You just mess with it. It doesn't really affect me much, right? I mean, if you're an amateur boxer, you're not doing 12 championship rounds. You're only doing three. And if you're sparring, you know, four, five, six, not a lot. You could deal with it, right? You could deal with it. But once again, with headgear, they're not meant to prevent concussions. Okay, they're meant to prevent cuts bruises righty it's better to wear headgear sparring right but um you know don't think it's gonna prevent concussions no headgear can do that it's boxing you get hit in the head you obviously uh, are at risk of concussions but um either way this is the headgear pretty good right if you're a beginner amateur boxer looking for headgear light cheap headgear title way to go i recommend i really do recommend there's different colors there's like red I'm pretty sure there was white. I'm not sure if there was blue. I can look real quick if there was blue. Yeah, so there's black, blue, uh, red, white. Just got black, basic. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if you guys are thinking about buying it. I can answer any questions that I know of. Uh, but yeah, I'm out, guys. Peace.